Hi, uh, in, in this uh, presentation, I'm going to speak about the gray wall optimization, the GWO. I'm going to present first uh, a brief overview of the algorithm, and then I'm going to speak about some specific issues. So this algorithm was uh, proposed by uh, Mir Jalili in this reference, and, uh, and um, it is based, what is inspired in the, in the behavior of uh, a pack of wolves. In this uh, pack of wolves, uh, we got the alpha uh, wolves, which are the, the dominant wolves in the pack. And then the second in command are the beaters. The third in command are the deltas, deltas and all the other ones are omegas. So the analogy with the, with the GWO algorithm is that the best element in the population is the alpha wolf. The second best is the beta. The third best is the delta, and all the other elements are omegas. So all the, the, all the population's movements are um, determined by the, the position of the alpha, beta, and delta. So uh, if, if you consider this figure, where we got the alpha wolf in this location, the beta wolf in this location, and the delta in this one, all the other omegas are uh, spread around. So uh, all the other ones, and even alpha, beta, and, and delta, are going to be determined by the position of these three wolves regarding the objective to be reached, which is the goal. We are going to see how is this is modeled mathematically in the, by the GWO. So consider just the three wolves' position, alpha, beta, and delta, and one of the omegas, this one. So we are going to see, uh, we have to evaluate a distance between the omega and the alpha wolf, the beta and the delta. Regarding this uh, distance to the alpha wolf, which is represented by D alpha, it is evaluated like, like this. D alpha is equals to this uh, absolute value of this difference between the position of the alpha wolf and the position of the omega wolf. We got here a, a, a constant C1 that we are going to see it is a, a, it is a random base uh, uh, constant which, the, which is going to put, put, uh, perturb or disturb this position from the she's from the alpha wolf. Then this distance is inserted here in this, in this equation. So the contribution of the alpha wolf is called x1 and is equal to the position of the alpha wolf minus uh, this distance which is multiplied by another constant a1 is also going to be based on a random value so we got two random base constants c1 and a1 so after evaluating this contribution from the alpha wolf for the movement movement of this omega we have to do the same thing for the beta and delta. For the beta, it's the same thing. So we, we evaluate the distance for the beta. In this case, we see two, and, uh, and we got A2. So is another. So the contribution of, uh, of the beta for the movement of the alpha is going to be X2. And the same thing for delta. The contribution from the delta from the move, movement of omega is this one, okay? So after we have uh, evaluated x1, x2, and x3, we have uh, average uh, of these three values, and the average of these three positions of x1, x2, and x3 is going to do to determine the new the new position of this omega wolf. So ideally, uh, this position is going to be moved in the direction of the goal. The goal is here, so it's going to be, for instance, here or something like that. This is the, uh, the modeling behind the GWO. And this is reported in the paper. This photo is extracted from the paper. And you can see here what, what happens in the reality when the wolves surround the prey. And this is the original uh, formulation where they got the distance. So we got the position of the prey. Uh, the position of the prey is going to be actually uh, the position of one of, for instance, the alpha, the beta, and the delta. And, uh, and this C2 is this C, as, 
as I spoke before, is equals to two times a, a R2. R2 is a random value which is uh, generated in interval between 0 and 1. So this is the first constant, a random based constant. And then we got the second one, this A. This A equal, is equal to 2 times A times R, R1, or R1, which is also another uh, random value generated in interval 0 to 1, minus A. So um, we have already explained what is the, the way that, uh, so all the walls are evaluated by the positions of the alpha, beta, and delta. Even the alpha and beta and delta also are evaluated from the contribution of the three walls regarding to their positions to reach the optimum value. So this is also a, a photo from the original uh, from the original paper, we have seen how this alpha, omega, sorry, moves towards the prey or the objective. But now we are going to concentrate uh, in a while how this alpha uh, wolf behaves. Okay. So the algorithm is quite simple. So we got an iteration counter. And then we, we initialize the population. This is usually done randomly. We start with a value of A. We initialize this value. Originally, it was two. And then while a termination criteria is not reached, usually a number of iterations, we evaluate the, 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 the fitness or the merit of the, the wolves and the positions. And then we update the alpha, the position from the alpha, beta, and delta. Uh, in this case, it's x1, x2, and x3. And then we update all the wolf's positions based on this x1, x2, and x3. We update a new value from A. And uh, that's it. OK. Now, about some issues uh, uh, that uh, are important. The first one is to, has to be to do with this A. This A is the, the parameter which uh, establishes or defines the trade-off between the exploration and expo exploitation. As you know, the, in the beginning, the search should be exploring, so it should be an exploration phase. And then when you move towards the end of the search, it should be more uh, a local search or exploitation. So it was proposed originally to change this between two in the initial value, in the initial iterations, to zero. So these are, this value is, is linear decaying along the number of the iterations of the search. So it is claimed that when A, or the models of A is bigger than one, that the wolves get away from the prey. So this is to do an exploration. When, the, when A is less than one, this means that the wolves attack the prey. So this is more the exploitation. So we are going to see now an example that I'm going just to consider the alpha wolf position. If you consider the alpha wolf position and one problem with just one dimension, one variable, uh, the D alpha becomes like this, this expression. So if I put this in here, uh, then uh, if I replace this, the alpha here, we got this expression and so on. So if I put now the ex general expression from A1, this expression here, I reach this one. And then, so I got the, uh, the I got the expression who gives the, the exposition, the contribution of the alpha wolf uh, based on the previous position of the alpha and the constants A and uh, C1 and so on, okay? So I'm going to consider just uh, um, a particular situation, which uh, in practice uh, is, is, is not going to happen uh, frequently, which is to consider R1 and R2 equals to 1. So if I do this, C becomes 2. So if I replace these two here, and uh, this uh, expression is simplified to this one, OK? X1 is x equals to x alpha 1 minus a. As you can see, a depends of the iteration. 
he begins to he starts off to be two. So I'm going to consider uh, the first case when a equals two. When a equals two, what happens is uh, the result of this expression is that the, the, the x one is equals to minus x alpha. It means that uh, this this the contribution is the symmetric all of this value. Okay. When is equals to one, the contribution x one is zero. That means that in this case, the alpha position is going to be influenced by the other two waves, beta and delta. And when it is equals to zero, it means that the, the new position is equal to, uh, the contribution is equal to the x alpha position. So if I repeat this now with uh, considering just R1, R1 equals to one and R2 equals to 0.25 in this case, Let's assume that the random volume was this one. Then the expression has to be this one. And uh, in the first case for a, E equals two, we got here uh, X1 equals two X alpha. And uh, if it is one, it is it becomes 1.5 X alpha. And if it is uh, 0.5, it becomes 1.35 X alpha. So this is just to illustrate that uh, in reality, this is also presented in the paper. And uh, the, the positions of the wolves, uh, in this case, in for uh, two dim dimensions, two, two variables, two dimensions, you, you can see that um, the wolf can get, get uh, uh, around the prey from one side to the other and uh, to the, uh, the within the space of the search. So this, um, the relation between A and uh, and C uh, is not so easy to understand as, as this, but this is what the result. And uh, with this um, figure, and also the reference, the original paper reference that you can find here in, the, in this uh, paper, uh, I conclude this, uh, this presentation. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.